Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting video that's going to change your life. That's right, change your life, okay? Have you ever been standing in front of your closet in the morning trying to figure out what you're gonna wear that day and been paralyzed? Like just paralyzed, you can't move. Everything you try to pull out, you're like, oh, this is uncomfortable. Or, oh, I remember this sweater's itchy. Don't feel like wearing any of these clothes today. What am I supposed to do? I've been there too. I was actually late to work last week and that's what gave me the idea to make this video. So today I wanted to go through the six steps to creating your own capsule wardrobe. Now I understand that everybody has a different type of wardrobe, right? I'm going to focus on my clothes here in my closet that are for workwear. But for anyone else who isn't business or business casual, you could still create your own capsule wardrobe and just put the pieces in that you need to make your life easier and you can just grab an outfit and go in the morning. It is so life changing, guys. And I know this, I've done it before, but for some reason I've let my closet get out of control. Okay, so step one is editing. And editing is a very important part of this whole process. If you don't get rid of the things out of your everyday closet, this is not going to work, okay? So you really need to put some thought, put some time into this, schedule a couple hours on the morning when maybe your kids are at school or you have the day off and you have the time to sit and do this. I promise you, if you follow this process, the entire six steps, you're going to be very successful. So what you wanna do is pull everything out of your closet. Now this closet that I have here in my dressing room is just for workwear. Some of these pieces that have worked their way into this closet are not exactly workwear appropriate. I'm not sure how they've gotten in here, but that's gonna be an easy thing to pull out first. And I'm going to put those pieces in another closet or put them into a storage tub and store those away. So you wanna have a separate space for your capsule wardrobe. So that means if you have dressier clothes that don't fit into your everyday life, you wanna put those away somewhere else. Put them in storage, hang them in a separate closet, put them in your kid's closet at the back, the part they don't use, okay? You wanna keep one space, one area of your closet for just your capsule wardrobe. And don't let other things find their way in there, okay? So the next part of editing is you wanna try everything on. That's right, you wanna try everything on, make sure that it still fits, that it's comfortable, because I've had outfits where the pants are way too tight on me, and I keep thinking, why are these in my closet? Because every time I pull them out, I'm uncomfortable when every time I sit down. Those are not things you want in your capsule wardrobe. I'm not saying you have to get rid of them. If you think that maybe you're gonna get back to a different size, put them in a storage bin, put them somewhere out of sight where so that maybe when you do get down and lose those last five pounds, you can pull them out, bring them back into the capsule wardrobe and celebrate them at that time. So you wanna have five bottoms and 10 tops that you love, okay? So don't get caught up too much in the number of tops and bottoms, but just think somewhere in your mind that you'd like to have about 10 tops, five bottoms that you know are your go-tos that feel really good. Then what you wanna do is pull these things out, have a staging area somewhere. I have my little ottoman here. I like to pop my outfits on. And what I do is I'll pop um, an outfit on my ottoman and I take a picture of it and I save it in a file folder in my photos that is outfits. Okay, this may seem dumb, but trust me, it's going to save you a lot of time. So you're gonna go through and you're going to find at least 10 outfits, okay? Tops and bottoms and just lay them out, snap a photo of them. And if you'd like to, you can even grab a few of your accessories and pop those with the outfits that you really like and include those in your photo because that will just be something that'll remind you, oh, I love those pants with that scarf. I love this dress with that handbag. So if you really liked an outfit in a certain way, make sure you include those accessories in your photograph. This is gonna take you a little bit of time, I realize, but when you're staying in front of your closet with your eyes glazed over because you have no idea what to put on and you're running late, you can easily look at one of those pictures. Okay, yes, that's right, I remember, I remember now. 
and you're gonna be out the door super quick. Okay, so then step number five is you're going to donate or sell what you don't love, okay? So we've gone through our outfits, we've got our capsule wardrobe hanging, we've probably got a couple piles to donate or storage on our floor. So what you wanna do is you want to grab your pile for donate or sell, and there's a couple different things you can do. You can go online to a company called Thread Up. I'll pop a link down here below. But what they'll do is there's certain categories of clothes that they accept. So make sure you go on their website and look at all the brands that they take. If you have any of those brands, you can get a bag or a box and send it to them. They will give you a credit to their online store where you can purchase things like handbags, really nice blazers, you know, maybe something that would be a splurge for you. You could, you know, send your clothes in and then get a credit to maybe save up for one of those items. I think that's a fabulous idea. I have a friend who does this all the time. She just got this fabulous bag and I was like, where did you get that bag? And she said, thread up. I've been sending my clothes in and saving up my credits and I got this beautiful bag and I was like, I'm gonna do that. I'm totally gonna do it. Okay, and then my favorite step is step number six. We're going to fill in the gaps. So now you have your outfits, you have your 10 tops, five bottoms that you can rotate through, build different outfits with. You have at least 10 outfits in your photos that you can go to and get ideas from. But what you might be noticing is that you have some gaps in your wardrobe. You don't have a nice crisp button down shirt. Maybe you don't have enough blouses to go with your slacks, okay? Maybe you're missing that really great blazer moment in your wardrobe. Whatever it is, write it down. Now you have a more concise shopping list for going forward. I personally am not going to be buying a bunch of things for spring because I went through and edited my closet and I found so many nice outfits and I really don't need anything. I'm going to stick to my plan and with my capsule wardrobe, it's going to really help me see what I really need and what I really don't. I hope this video was helpful. Please leave me any comments down below. If you'd like to see any of these outfits styled, go over and check me out on Midwest Overdressed. If you like this video, please go down there and like or subscribe. Thank you so much, guys. See you in my next one.